We, you are watching a master at work. Today, we are reviewing a stunning rose based fragrance, one of the absolute best offerings that Tom Ford has put out on the market. It is the gorgeous Cafe Rose. And it is small wonder that in 2013, it won one of the most prestigious awards that a fragrance can win from the Fifi's, which is like the Oscars or the Grammys of fragrances as the best new release and limited distribution of 2013. As long as I got my suit and tie, I'ma leave it all on the floor tonight. And it got fixed up to the nines. Let me show you a good thing. The award-winning Café Rose is a fragrance that was launched alongside three others in Tom Ford's Jardin Noir collection, which translates to the Black Garden. The inspiration was to take traditional floral notes and give them a dark, macabre, twisted edge, and Café Rose executes this to perfection. Tom Ford's Café Rose opens up with a beautiful trifecta of rose notes, including rose de May, Turkish rose, but most prominently, this really high quality, fine presentation of Bulgarian rose, which can be very soapy, can be very light, can be very fluttery. You would first assume that what you're smelling is just a gorgeous, simple rose-based fragrance. But immediately it begins to show a darker, more macabre hidden character as notes of black smoke, black pepper, and black incense really give a nice contrast and a very unusual edge to this traditional rose note. When Tom Ford dries down and hits its stride, it really is a peppered, dark, smoky rose and it is masterfully blended. It is very easy to pick out the notes in this fragrance, but what makes this fragrance so incredible is that they harmoniously work together when they really should not. Tom Ford's Cafe Rose is easily the most artistically composed private blend fragrance in the collection fully realizing on the theme of having light and dark elements in the fragrance. Soft and harsh, masculine and feminine. And so it's a very interesting fragrance to wear. One that whenever I wear, I'm constantly smelling myself. It is a stunning fragrance. This is where I get to speak about my personal feelings and ratings on Cafe Rose. And in every single aspect, this is an excellent fragrance. If you want to be peppered with compliments, this is the fragrance for you. It is easily my most complimented Tom Ford private blend. Above Tobacco Bunny, Noir du Noir, heavy hitters like Tuscan leather attention getters like Amber Absolute. This fragrance is absolutely divine. It is stunning. It is an elegant fragrance. This is one that just goes perfectly with a suit and tie. It goes perfectly really in any situation. My girlfriend says it smells beautiful and it is so easy to love. This is really one that the mass appeal is at a high level. Love for this one is instantaneous. You do not have to warm up to it. You don't have to get to know it. It's not difficult to understand. It's instant love with this one. And that's because it you know, does a really good job of presenting different facets of what people love about fragrances. It's got floral aspects to it, yes, but it does have those dark elements that really bring it home, that really give it that woody, structured, spicy backbone to it. So people who like something lighter would love this. People who like something darker and heavier will love it at the same time. The smell is unusual, but it is not unpleasant or strange. It is unusual and unique in a very pleasant way. So in terms of scent and compliment factor, this is absolutely through the roof. In terms of performance of the fragrance, excellent projection, excellent longevity. The pepper notes in this will definitely reach out there 
and awaken the senses of other people. And this fragrance will definitely get you noticed. A fragrance that gets you a lot of compliments usually is really good in terms of projection and longevity. And this one, we're talking about easily over 9, 10 hours. And projection is more than, you know, six feet. People will smell you when you come into a room. So its performance is definitely, definitely, definitely there. If you spray this on clothes, it lasts for days and days and days on clothes. For the versatility of this fragrance, it is definitely signature scent worthy. Whether you're a man or a woman, it will wear perfectly on you. It is gender versatile. Really right down the middle. The rose and the saffron really give it that feminine touch. But then the patchouli, the black incense, the black pepper, the black coffee, you know, uh, the vetiver that's deep down in the base really give it that masculine touch. So it's neither too masculine or too feminine. It's just right down the middle in that perfect optimum zone where everybody just wants to wear it and everybody just loves smelling it. In terms of being unique, absolutely stunning. One of the more unique fragrances that you will definitely come across. Tom Ford's Cafe Rose is one of the best rose-based fragrances you will ever come across. Really doing the job when it comes to covering all bases. This is a fragrance that really gives you the best of all worlds. It has lots of mass appeal, garnering compliments left and right, but yet it is an artistically composed fragrance. There is nothing dull or boring about this fragrance. One of the most interesting private blend fragrances in Tom Ford's collection. It has what we call dynamic tension in that it has dark and light elements battling each other. It has feminine and masculine elements, fresh and dense elements. And so this is an absolutely wonderful fragrance. And it's no surprise that it won the award as the best new release in 2013 from the Fifi's.